What's going on YouTube? Thanks for stopping by. My name is Mike, also known as Hyrule Dude. Today is a very exciting day for me because I'm starting our official Breath of the Wild walkthrough and this is going to be part one. So I hope you're as excited as I am. Thank you so much for stopping by and thank you for the support as well. Um, all of the likes, the comments that you guys have all left have been absolutely amazing. I'm sorry it's been a little bit since I've uploaded because I've been so busy with personal things in my life. So I appreciate everything and I'm very excited to, uh, to get working on things again. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the game starts off with Link inside of a shrine. Um, so he wakes up and he's in this room and in this room you're going to see that there's a terminal. Go ahead and run over to it and press A. That's going to activate the terminal and you are going to obtain the Sheikah Slate. That is a Sheikah Slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. All right, so this is a device that you're going to be using a lot in the game. So it will allow you to check the map. You can see all of the things you have in your inventory. You can also check the status of any quests that you're currently doing in the game. Uh, it's a really useful tool and you'll be using it throughout the entire game. It's called the Sheikah Slate. So let's go ahead and exit this main room. You're going to see that there's two treasure chests right outside the door. One of them contains a well-worn trousers. The other contains an old shirt. Now I'm going to put those on by pressing start and just equipping the shirt and the trousers. I'm then going to activate this terminal here as well. Hold the Sheikah Slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. All right, so now this is going to get us out of the shrine and we're finally going to see daylight. Link, you are the light, our light, that must shine upon Hyrule once again. Now go. So from here, we're just going to make our way out of the shrine, straight ahead to the amazing, <laughs> iconic introduction to Breath of the Wild. Now, that is the old man. He's a very important character in the game. We're going to talk to him very soon, but first we're going to collect some items. I'm going to pick up this tree branch to help defend myself. Um, I'm also going to pick up some of the mushrooms that we see here. Those help restore health. Um, a very big rule in Breath of the Wild, I would say, would be to collect as many items as you possibly can. You can never have too many, and uh, if you see something, make sure to pick it up. Now I'm going to continue heading towards the old man sitting by the campfire and you're going to notice that there's an apple tree here that you can just jump up and grab some of the apples on the tree. You'll also notice that there's another item on the floor and when I grab it the old man is going to begin to talk to me. So the old man is a little angry that we took his apple. Uh, apparently he was saving that. Maybe he was going to eat it for dinner. But uh, he's just asking Link a bunch of questions. And he's going to show Link a glimpse of the beautiful land of Hyrule.
so that temple right there is where we're going to be heading next before we head to mm. our main objective. So from here, let's go ahead down this little hill here, and you're going to see an axe lodged into a tree stump. Let's go ahead and grab that. And while we're here, let's go ahead and chop down this apple tree, collect all of the apples. And if we hit the tree log again, we're going to get wood bundles. If we climb this big tree right here, we're going to see that there's some bird eggs at the top of it. Those are very good because they restore one full heart. Now, sometimes when you lift these rocks, you'll find things underneath them. For example, right here, I'm finding a high-tail lizard. Under the other rock, though, there is nothing, so I'm just going to drop that. And if you're facing the temple, you're going to see that there's this ledge. If you go to the edge of it and you look down, there's a pond and there's a ring of lily pads. Um, you're going to have to jump into the center of them and you're going to reveal a Korok seed. These are very, very important um, because you can use them to upgrade your inventory later on in the game. So you'll be able to carry more bows, more shields, more weapons and uh, that's always going to be very useful. Now we're just going to swim towards the center of this little pond here and if we climb to the top we're going to see a rusty broadsword. So let's go ahead and grab that. We're going to continue from here heading towards the temple. Point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. So the voice wants us to follow the Sheikah Slate and get to the location that's blinking on the map. But before we do that, let's go ahead and grab some of these ancient materials that are here on these dead things here that apparently Link does not know of yet, but they're actually guardians. Um, so we're going to go ahead and grab those and we're going to run around the side of this temple here. And we're going to find a huge ladder leaning all the way to the top of the temple. Let's go ahead and climb this to the top. And when we get there, we're going to go all the way to the right. gonna see here is a treasure chest so let's go ahead and open this up and this contains the soldier's bow which is a very powerful bow to have at the beginning of the game so it's very good that we have it and from here let's go ahead and head back down to the ground level of the temple So there's going to be a few things that we're going to want to do inside of the temple. There are some arrows inside of the temple that we're going to want to get. And there's also a bow that we're going to want to get. But there's also a bokoblin that we're going to have to fight uh, in order to peacefully get those. So when he runs up to you, if you do a backflip, you can pull out a weapon and hit him in the face. Um, and if you actually do a backflip at the right time like this, you'll engage a flurry rush where you can press Y repeatedly and deliver multiple attacks in a very short amount of time. So that's a very powerful fighting technique in Breath of the Wild. Uh, I'm gonna hit this Bokoblin and I hit him over the ledge so we're not gonna have to worry about him. Now running back into the temple, you're gonna see there's a bunch of pots in here. Let's go ahead and break those. We're gonna find some arrows and there's a treasure chest in here also containing a bow. Now, looking at the map at the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you're going to see a yellow marker that's pulsing or 
or whatever you want to call it um, and you're gonna head in that direction like the voice had said before now looking ahead you're going to see a big skull you're also going to see a bridge that's cut in the center you can actually jump across it and still make it to the other side so that we can continue heading towards that marker on the screen <laughs> And if you look ahead, you're going to see a weird object that is kind of like protruding from the top of this rock here. Um, that is exactly where we're going. And in the center, you're going to find another terminal that we're going to have to examine. All right, so we made it. This is exactly what we were looking for. says the Sheikah Tower is activated and it also warns you to watch for falling rocks. Awesome, so we've activated the Great Plateau and now we're going to be downloading some information into our Sheikah Slate. It's like a drop of information it's pretty cool so now as you can see the entire great plateau region on the map has been revealed so we could see everything the regional map has been extracted so that's really, really cool. Now we're gonna have to do that in each and every region to get the entire map for this game. Try, try to remember. You have been asleep for the past 100 years. <sighs> the beast, when the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. And that, ladies and gentlemen, about wraps up everything for part one of the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild walkthrough. I hope to see you on my next video. Please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. May God bless you all, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.